I ended up hiring a little tens machine. I love food. I've got my vlogging camera. I've heard you need a lot of pawpaw and a lot of water. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title of today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my hospital bag as a first time mum. I've watched so many of these videos to sort of learn what to pack and also what's not worth packing because I feel like we can all be a little bit guilty of overpacking sometimes. I literally have a giant suitcase, so I am guilty of that. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what I'm packing anyway. It's so weird to think that you just don't know what's coming. Like you could be in there for a couple hours, you could be in there for one night, you could be in there for three nights. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I've packed. So I wanted to share these in, I guess, categories. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is what I'm going to be using in the early phases of labor to help me, especially if I do get to go into spontaneous labor at home, these are the things that I'm going to use to help me get through it. So I'm actually not going to pack this in my hospital bag. I'm just gonna leave them out and then I've got a list on my phone of all the last minute things I need to pack. The things that I'm going to be using for, I guess, early labor. The first thing I got were these um, little tea light candles. I just found these on Amazon. If I can find the, the same one, I'll link them below, but they're, ba they're just battery operated tea lights and they sort of flicker as if they were real candles. So I really like that. This was essential for me because I'm all about just like a calming environment. I love candles. I love, um, even at nighttime, I always have either a candle burning or just like a dim light because it just makes me feel so relaxed and calm. So this was a must have for me and I've been using them just in the bath and stuff. <laughs> Next up is my water bottle. So again, I'll pack this the day of, but a big one liter water bottle with a straw, preferably one that's gonna keep your water actually cold. So again, an absolute must. Next up, I've just got some relaxation mist spray. So this one is lavender. I've been spraying this on my pillow every night because A, it just smells really good, but B, just to like get myself used to that smell and how it makes me feel at nighttime and that sort of thing. So I was originally going to pack a diffuser, which I have in the corner here, and emit like lavender oil, but apparently I've heard some of the midwives can be allergic to lavender. Apparently that's what the hospital said. So they don't always let you do that. So I've just got the spray in case. I've then just got a little Bluetooth speaker so that I can play some Spotify, either affirmations, hypnobirthing tracks, spa music, that sort of thing. I just feel like it's a must have in labor. And then in this little bag, I actually hired a TENS machine. I can't really pull it out because there's so many other things in this bag. <laughs> um, but I ended up hiring a little tens machine because i heard so many amazing things about this um, i tested it last night and it's pretty cool like obviously i'm not in labor right now so i don't know if it's gonna you know how much it's gonna help but it is pretty cool just what it does and i think it would take your mind off it at least in the early phases so i'm excited to give this a go and see how it works and then also in this little goodie bag i have my headphones pawpaw i've heard you need a lot of pawpaw and a lot of water in labor and I also bought some hydrolyte to pop in my water as well just for some extra electrolytes and also it tastes good <laughs> um, and the last thing I have is just a lavender roll-on oil so I've got the the spray to like mist on myself and then I can just roll this on my neck my wrists that sort of thing as well so the next thing I'm going to be packing is my vlogging camera I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to get but hopefully even just a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it on YouTube or just like have it for ourselves to look back on, but I just think it's such a special day and something that like, I guess in the moment you sort of forget what's going on. You're obviously not really paying much attention. You're just sort of like trying to get through it. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to just capture some footage and have something to look back on the birth of our baby and just how it all goes down. So I've got my vlogging camera and then maybe we'll go through what I'm packing for baby. So I did ask my hospital what they provide and they basically said nothing really. <laughs> so to bring your own nappies, wipes and that sort of thing. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I've got a ton of just newborn um, nappies. I've just got one packet of baby wipes. I have no idea how many wipes or nappies babies go through. But like I said, we can always come back home if we need to get more. 
I've then packed just a few different swaddles, burp cloths, that sort of thing. So we've got like the zip up love to dream swaddles. I've just got one of those and then I've got two different um, muslin wraps. I again have no idea how to wrap a baby in a muslin wrap but I'm hoping they'll show us how to do that. And then I just have a burp cloth which I feel like I probably will pack a couple more because I'm assuming you go through that pretty easily. And then I've just packed a couple of dummies. I know that this is like controversial I guess to give your baby a dummy right away but I've got them here just in case because we have no idea what we're getting in for so <laughs> I'd rather have them there. We've got these little plaques that say hello world and just like the name, the date, the height, the weight, that sort of thing. Um, I thought these would be super cute for just like an arrival picture or like announcement. And then in terms of clothes, I didn't know what to pack. So I've got a couple of different onesies in different sizes. We have been told he could be on the smaller side just because he's measuring quite small at the moment. So I've got a couple of 5-0 onesies, like the tiny baby ones, and then a couple of just newborn ones as well. So I think I've got two to three of each. And then because I'm crazy, but also I feel like every mum's going to do this, <laughs> I've got like the matching beanies to go with them, again for a cute picture, but obviously very useful as well. A couple of the onesies I've packed don't have like the socks or the mittens with them so I've just packed a couple little ones of those as well but I have heard that babies just live in the zip up onesies to begin with because it's just the easiest way to change them so I've only packed onesies basically. I think that's all I've packed for baby or at least everything that I could think of at the moment. If you have had a baby before and there's anything I'm missing by the way, feel free to let me know in a comment below because I would love that. And then for myself, I've got a ton of snacks. Way too many for literally like one day but I love food and you literally don't know how long you're going to be in labor for, in how long you're going to be in the hospital for. So I've packed a lot of things. I feel like I don't need to show you everything, but I'll show you a few things. So I've got a chocolate bar. We need, we need the sugar hit. We need the energy. I've got a couple of bags of cashews. I've got a couple of like protein bars, if you will. I've got some lollies. Again, we need the sugar hit. Um, salt and vinegar chips, like you cannot go wrong with salt and vinegar chips, especially in labor. I feel like these are going to hit the spot. In terms of clothing, I've got a couple of different seamless bras and also maternity bras. I'm hoping for a water birth, so I was going to pack a bikini as well, but I feel like I'll probably just end up in a bra in the water because I don't think it's really going to matter when you're there. <laughs> um, so I've packed three of those. I've got some long fluffy socks as well and then to actually labor in I bought this long t-shirt dress sort of thing pretty much like a nighty I guess you would call it um, so it's super oversized it covers everything you want it to cover um, and it also has the buttons at the front so once you have delivered it's going to be easy to just like open up um, I even though I just said I'm gonna labor in the bath when I am laboring before I get in the water I would like to be as covered as possible or at least that's what I think right now um, so I wanted to buy an oversized shirt however my backup option is a dressing gown so if I want to use like the tens machine I think it would be too hard to stick the electric pads to your back if you're wearing like a fully like a full gown so I just have a dressing gown instead um, that might make it a little bit easier so it's just like a silk robe that I would wear over seamless bra, seamless undies. And then this could be very ballsy of me because <laughs> I really don't know what I'm getting in for. But I've also packed some games. This is probably only if I end up getting an epidural and things are like calm and you're just sort of like waiting to dilate that I've got games. But otherwise I'm going to try and go as natural as possible. So I probably won't be playing these. But Andy and I love a good game. I don't know. I just felt like it was worth packing. <laughs> um, and then I've got my toiletry bags. So I've just got your usual shampoo, conditioner, soap, razors, makeup wipes, that sort of thing in here. And then I'll also pack my makeup on the day. I probably won't care to do my makeup, but I'll have it there just in case, um, particularly for like photos and things. <laughs> my dog's just made an appearance. 
And then my going home outfit, I've basically just packed a black um, breastfeeding t-shirt with black pants. Um, so they're just like cotton material, they're super high-waisted. I also packed black leggings, but I feel like I probably won't bother wearing leggings um, after giving birth, but I'm just going to pack them anyway. And I would pair that with a nursing singlet and then just a cardigan to come home in. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to wear yet. It sort of depends how long I'm in there for and that sort of thing, but they are my going home outfits. For shoes, I've got my trusty slippers. I live in these. <laughs> and I've also got some thongs as well just for showering. And then we've got the fun postpartum stuff. So again, my hospital said that they don't really supply anything. So I'm, I'm just packing everything I think I'll need. So I've got some disposable undies or nappies. I don't know what you call them, but I've got a ton of those because I've heard you go through a lot. I've also got some maternity pads to pop in there as well. And I actually made some frozen padsicles and I popped them in my freezer. I might pack those with my colostrum syringes and bring them to the hospital, but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but they are there in case I want them. Speaking of the ice pack, I have this ice or heat pack that you can pop in your underwear or if you have a C-section, I think you can pop it like along your scar and it helps with swelling and just helps to like soothe the area so I've got that. I've got a peri bottle because I've heard amazing things about this especially if you deliver vaginally apparently it can sting a little bit so I've got that and I've also got some postpartum recovery wipes as well. And the last two things are just for breastfeeding so I've got these hydrogel breast discs that my friend gave me. I actually don't really know what they are, but everyone says that they're amazing, so I'm sure I'll get use out of them. And then I also have these nipple shields because I've heard really good things about this as well, especially when your milk comes in. So I'm just going through my phone now at any other last minute things I was going to pack. So phone chargers will pack on the day, um, the hospital folder with my birth plan or birth preferences and that sort of thing. Um, I'll pack my sneakers on the day, my laptop, again probably won't use my laptop but it sort of just depends how it all goes down, um, an eye mask, where is my eye mask, I swear I packed that, I'm going to have to look for that but um, everyone was telling me to pack like an eye sleeping mask because of all the bright lights in the hospital and same with earplugs in case you're sharing a room with somebody else. The colostrum syringes which are currently in the freezer and I would pack them with a ice pack. And the last things to pack are just a hairbrush, hair ties and deodorant. So that is pretty much everything. As I mentioned before, if you've had a baby before and there's anything I'm missing that you're like, that was amazing, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Please don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys in... My next video, which could very much be the birth vlog. Wowza. <laughs>